para servir, para ayudar. También ustedes tienen que aprender de ella, ponerse en camino para ayudar a los demás. Me gustaría ver en Lisboa una semilla del mundo del futuro. Un mundo donde el amor esté en el centro. Donde nos podamos sentir hermanas y hermanos. Estamos en guerra. Necesitamos otra cosa. Un mundo que no tenga miedo a testimoniar el Evangelio. Un mundo con alegría. Porque los cristianos, si no tenemos alegría, no somos creíbles. No nos cree nadie. Rezemos para que a Jornada Mundial da Juventude em Lisboa Will help us young people to set out in this journey Ao temor de l'Evangile para nos propres The word of God becomes a light for our path. You and I are called to extend a smile, to extend a work of mercy. Kutoka ndundu gatundu utawala Nairobi boma kitui hadi katolo kisumu njili na songa mbele tumsifu Yesu Kristo mpenda mtazamaji wa runinga captain popote pale ulipo na karibu kwenye makala ya uvumbuzi wa wiki hapa tunakuletea ujumbe kutoka viongozi mbalimbali wa kanisa katoliki lakini kwanza tupate vidokezo Imani sio lembo za kidini, ni uhusiano binafsi na Bwana Yesu, afunza baba mtakachifu Francisco. Chuo kikuu kishiriki cha hekima cha zindua mwaka mpya wa masomo na mwaka 40 wa taasisi hiyo. Askofu mkuu Morris Mwatia aongoza watawa shirika la Visitation Sisters of Mary katika kufunguliwa rasmi na kubarikiwa kwa nyumba yao ya malezi huko Kisumu. Askofu Joseph Mogela aongoza sherehe za nadiri za kitawa wa masista wa Our Lady of Charity of the Good Shepherd kwenye jimbo la Kitui. Waumini wa parokia Maria Msaada wa Kristo Enola Ndungu Gatundu wamesherekea siku ya familia pamoja na kipaimara kwa kadeti takriban 250. Mtafsiri wa lugha ishara ni Veronica Neema, langu jina ni Arbe Bonaya, karibu kwa taarifa kamili, taarifa yetu anzia Vatican. Katika Dominika 20 ya mwaka a tarehe 30 Agosti baba mtakatifu Francisco akiwa katika drisha la nyumba ya kitume alitoa tafakari yake kwa umini na maujaji waliokusanyika katika uwanja mtakatifu Petro mjini Vatican. Cari fratelli e sorelle, buongiorno. Akianza baba mtakatifu alieleza simulizi la mkutano wa Yesu na mwanamke mkananayo nje ya eneo la Israeli. Mama huyo aliomba Bwana ili mtoto wake apone kwa kuwa alikuwa amepagawa sana na pepo, lakini Bwana hakumsikiliza. Yeye alisisitiza na wanafunzi wake wakamshauri ili amsikilize na aweze kunyamaza, lakini Yesu alielezea kuwa utume wake ulikuwa ni kwa ajili ya wana wa Israeli na anatumia sura hii kuwa si vema kukitoa chakula cha watoto kuwatupia mbwa na mwanamke jasiri akajibu ni kweli bwana lakini hata mbwa hula chakula kiangukacho mezani kwa mabwana zao kwa hiyo Yesu akasema mama imani yako ni kubwa na iwe kwako utakavyo na wakati huo huo mwanae akapona Baba mtakatifu Francisco kwa njia hiyo alidadavua Yesu alivyoanza kubadili mwelekeo wake na kilichomfanya kubadilika ni nguvu ya imani ya mama yule. Baba mtakatifu alisema, 
Mungu ni upendo na anayependa habaki mgumu ndio anabaki na msimamo lakini sio mgumu katika msimamo wake binafsi lakini anajiachia kuguswa na hisia anabadili ratiba zake na upendo ni ubunifu na sisi wa Kristo ikiwa tunataka kumuiga Kristo tunaalikwa kuwa na uwezekano wa kubadilika jinsi gani ilivyo nzuri katika mahusiano yetu lakini hata katika maisha imani kuwa wanyofu kuwa na umakini wa kweli wa kusikiliza ambao unalainisha kwa niaba ya huruma na wema wa wengine kama alivyofanya Yesu kwa mkana nayo unyenyekevu wa kubadilika mioyoni mitilivu kwa ajili ya mabadiliko baba mtakatifu francisco alibainisha kuwa katika nuru ya yote hayo tunaweza kujiuliza maswali kwanza na mabadiliko ya Yesu kuanza na mabadiliko ya Yesu je mimi ninaweza kubadili maoni yangu Je, ninajua kuelewa na kuwa na huruma au kunibaki na ugumu wa msimamo wangu? Katika moyo wangu kuna kitu chenye ugumu ambacho hakina uimara kwa sababu ugumu ni mbaya na uimara ni mzuri. Na kuanzia na imani ya mwanamke yule, imani yangu ikoje? Je, inaishi kwenye dhana na maneno au inaishi kweli kwa maombi na matendo? Je, ninajua jinsi ya kuzungumza na Bwana? Je, ninajua jinsi ya kusisitiza naye au ninaridisha kukariri formula nzuri? Mama yetu atujalie kupatikana kwa kutenda wema na dhabiti katika imani. Quanto bene fa nei nostri rapporti, ma anche nella vita di fede, essere docili. Prestare davvero ascolto. Na kutoka Vatican turejee kwetu nyumbani ambapo Jumapili iliyopita askofu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Garissa mwashamu George Mdaka aliongoza ibada ya misa ya kusherekea siku ya kifamilia ya parokia Maria Msaada wa Kristu katika eneo la Ndungu dekani ya Gatundu Jimbo ku Katoliki la Nairobi ibada hiyo pia ilijumisha kutolewa kwa sakramenti ya kipaimara kwa wakadireti takriban hamsini. Akirejelea simulizi la Yesu Kristo na mwanafunzi wake pale alipotembea juu ya maji dhidi ya dhuruba na mawimbi makali, Mhashamu Mudhaka alifundisha kwamba Yesu Kristo hawezi kuacha waumini wanapozama kwenye changamoto, matatizo na dhuruba zao za maisha kama alivyowaonea huruma wanafunzi wake. Tukasikia hadithi ya mitume walikuwa wanatembea baharini ukaja dhuruba na Yesu vile vile akatumia hiyo nafasi kuwafundisha kwamba yeye atakuwa na wao wakati wowote hata wanapokabiliana na dhuruba katika maisha yao akiendelea alisema kwamba Yesu Kristo alifundishwa kwamba ijapokuwa mitume wake walipokea msaada mkubwa wa Mungu wakapokea upendo na neema na wakatumia karama hizo kuwaleta wana wa Mungu mbele ya utukufu wake ndivyo pia inavyostahili kwa waumini kwa hivyo leo pia vile vile anawafundisha kwamba yes wao wamepokea upendo wa Mungu mkubwa wamepokea msaada mkubwa wa Mungu na wamepokea neema kubwa kutoka kwake Mwenyezi Mungu lakini wanaambiwa kwamba hivyo vitu lazima wakitumie kuweza kuwaleta watu wote kwake Mungu Mhashamu askofu Mudhaka alimalizia kusema kwamba ili maombi yao yasikizwe na Mungu Baba basi inawapasa watu wote kuenda kwa Mungu kwa imani kubwa lakini kwa njia fulani alijua kwamba Yesu ana nguvu fulani akaenda kwake kwa hivyo na sisi tukitaka maombi yetu yasikizwe lazima twende kwa Mungu na imani kubwa tujue kwamba ana uwezo na tunajua kwamba atasikia maombi yetu kwa jimbo kuu katoliki la Nairobi tuelekee jimbo kuu katoliki la Kisumu ambapo mwashamu Morris Muhatia askofu mkuu wa jimbo kuu hilo aliongoza misa ya Dominika 20 ya mwaka hawa wa kanisa pamoja na kuimarisha wakadideti walioandaliwa katika sakramenti ya kipaimara kutoka parokia mtakatifu Ana eneo la Sega kwenye jimbo hilo la Kisumu Kwenye utangulizi wa homilia yake aliwamiza umini kumshukuru Mungu kwa chochote walichobarikiwa nacho katika maisha yao. Inzi Israeli ilikuwa takatifu mbele za Mungu ili tumuendee Mungu juu ya mlima na juu ya mlima tumwabudu, tumtolee shukrani, tumtolee sifa. Ndio sababu Jumapili hii 
tuko hapa kanisani kwa ajili ya kumwabudu na kumtukuza Mungu. Akiendelea na mafundisho yake yaliyo sheheni kima aliwafafanulia waumini umuhimu wa utu katika maisha ya binadamu. Kutumia ubinadamu wake kutusaidia kutazama na kuona vizuri ili jambo ambalo linaonekana wazi katika tabia ya wakati huo. Lakini Yesu Kristu ana lengo lingine sababu yeye si mtu tu ye ni Mungu kweli ni kama anamsukuma huyu mama kidogo ili fundisho lilo la muhimu zaidi lipate kujitokeza akirejelea historia ya Waisraeli kutoka kitabu takatifu aliwahimiza waumini wawe na imani dhabiti mbali na changamoto wanazo zipitia ikawaendea watu wa mataifa mtakatifu Paulo anaendelea kuahimiza watu wa mataifa kwamba Mungu amewasongesha karibu na waendelee kudumu katika imani ili ili kwa sababu hiyo peke yake wana wa Israeli waanze kuona wivu wa mrudia Mungu toka jimbo kuu la Kisumu tuelekee jimbo kuu Katoliki la Mombasa ambapo Jumapili iliyopita ya shirini kipindi cha mwaka Padre Johnson Ia aliongoza ibada ya misa takatifu kutoka kanisa kuu la Roho Mtakatifu katika jimbo kuu hilo Mwanzoni mwa homila yake Padre Iha aliwahimiza wote kukiri imani katoliki imani ambayo haijui tabaka wala kabila Imani ya ya huyu mama ilikuwa ni imani ya Kikristo imani ambayo haijui mipaka haijui tabaka haijui rangi haijui mgeni ni imani ambayo ilikuwa ni imani ya Kikristo aidha alisema wote waliunganishwa katika sakramenti ya ubatizo kama jamii moja huku wakiwasihi wapendwa wa Mungu kuishi pamoja kama mwili mmoja bila kubaguliana kupitia misingi ya rangi au ukoo kwamba mimi na wewe ambao tulikuwa kule nje kwa sakramenti ya ubatizo sasa tumejumuishwa si wageni tena kama yule mama si wakabila lile tena kama watu wanavochukuliana wakati mwingine wanachukuliana katika hali za kikabila si sote tumetwa kuwa jamii moja na jamii hiyo ni jamii ya Kristo Kwenye kilele cha humila yake akirejea masomo ya siku Padri Iha aliwaelezea waumini dhamana ya upendo huku akiwahimiza kuepukana na dhana ya majivuno au kiburi katika maisha yao kama waumini. Kwa sababu hiyo dhambi ya asili iliweza kuingia kwenye ulimwengu. Na kwa hivyo ni kwamba majivuno e, e, upendo hauna wivu, upendo uvumilia upendo ufadhili upendo hauna kiburi ha, yote tunayaona kwa huyu mama maswala ambayo twafaa kujifunza sisi sote kama wakristu wana wa Mungu na wa kanisa na kwenye taarifa zaidi Jumapili iliyopita kwenye kanisa kula familia takatifu au kipenda Holy Family Basilica hapa Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi Padre Simon Nganga aliongoza ibada ya misa takatifu ya Dominika 20 ya kipindi cha mwaka Kwenye ujumbe wake Padre Nganga aliwataka wakristu kuwa vyombo vya amani kwa kutueneza chuki kwenye jumuiya kanisani nyumbani na hata katika jamii kwa sababu ya mambo ya dunia bali wamkaribie Mungu kupitia kwa sala kwa yule ambaye atakuwa mtiifu kuichukua sheria ya Mwenyezi Mungu na kuitimiza atafaidi kutokana na wakofu huu kinana ni kwamba katika siku hizi na enzi ambazo tunaishi ni kwamba tunaona watu wakipigana fita wakitengana hata katika kanisa kwa sababu ya dini kwa sababu ya wokofu wa bao Mwenyezi Mungu ndio anayeutoa pale wanapo watu kujitapa ya kwamba kanisa letu ndilo muhimu sana kuliko makanisa yale mengine wanaposema ya kwamba kanisa hili lina wokofu hawa wengine hawana wokofu sisi tunatenda hili sisi tunatoa Uh, fungu kubwa kuliko hawa wengine na kadhalika 
Aidha aliwakumbusha Wakristo kuwa wote wako sawa mbele za Mwenyezi Mungu huku akiwataka kutojiona wa dhamana sana kuliko watu wengine lakini wapende watu wote kama vile Yesu Kristo anavyotupenda sote. Ila katika kupenda kila mmoja wetu ametutengea njia ambayo tunastahili kuienenda na kuishi kulingana na mapenzi yake. We must strive therefore to make the church of God to be a place of prayer, unity and love. Tukileta yale mengine basi atakuwa ni ya kutenganisha sisi na mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Na haya ndio tunayosikia katika somo vile vile la injili. Tukisalia kwenye kanisa lilo hilo Padri Daktari Lawrence Njoroge ambaye ni kasisi mkuu wa chuo kikuu cha Jomo Kenyatta au JQuat aliongoza waamini katika ibada ya misa ya saa tano na nusu. Kwenye homilia yake Padri Njoroge alisisitiza mada ya masomo ya siku. Kwenye homilia yake Padri Njoroge alisisitiza mada ya masomo ya siku hiyo kuwa wanadamu wote wameumbwa kwa mfano wa Mungu. Kwenye homilia yake Padri Njoroge alisisitiza mada ya masomo ya siku hiyo kwa wanadamu wote wameumbwa kwa mfano wa Mungu na wanahadhi sawa kama watoto wa baba yetu aliye mbinguni. All the countries of the world we belong and we belong equally and there is not a single person that belongs more than the others. We are equally the sons and the daughters of God the beloved sons and daughters of God and that is why Paul is able to say in the second reading Romans chapter 11 that he is proud to be the apostle of the gentiles na tukizidi kuendelea siku ya Alhamisi tarehe 24 mwezi huu familia ya marafiki wa chao wa kike wa kiume walijumuika kushiriki na kushuhudia sherehe ya nadhiri za kitawa na kumbukumbu la jubile kwenye shirika la Pavarel Sisters ibada hiyo ya misa iliongozwa na mwashamu David Kamau askofu msaidizi wa jimbo kula Nairobi Tumitafanye. Kwenye utangulizi wa mahubiri yake askofu Kamao akielezea umuhimu wa wito alisema kwamba bila kuitika hakuna wito. Na kwa hivyo nasema ukitwa na Mungu fanya nini? Itika eh. Hiyo ndio maana yake sasa Anastasia ameitwa akiwa pale pale nyuma. Na akaitika. Na bila kuitika. Bila kuitika huu wito hakuna wito huko lakini alitaja wito kama jukumu linalotolewa na Mungu kwa watu mbalimbali mbali, na akawahimiza wote kutimiza yale walioitwa kuyafanya na Mungu kwa hivyo you are called for a duty for a responsibility to fulfill a certain work god called abraham to be the father of the of the chosen people god called moses ili aokoe wana wa Israeli Mungu alimuita Yeremia atumesikia katika katika e, somo la kwanza na akampatia kazi ya kufanya So the call ni ni, ni, ni wito you respond and then for a mission for a mission na ni wakati tu natimiza ile kazi tulibatiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu tunaanza furahia wito wetu Mwashamu Kamau alisisitiza wote kuwaombea watawa mapadri na wote walioitwa na Mungu kufanya kazi yake mbalimbali mbali, ili waweze kuyatimiza matarajio yake Mungu. Muombe masista, muombe mapadri eh. Kwa sababu tunahitaji sala, tunahitaji nguvu za Mwenyezi Mungu. Bila nguvu ya Mungu, bila sala haiwezekani. Lakini hata nyinyi tuwaombe mwishi maisha ya familia eh kwa pande wake padri Jojo Mondi ambaye ni baba paroko wa parokia hiyo ya mtakatifu Austin aliwakaribisha na kushukuru wote waliohudhuria ibada hiyo huku akiwapongeza watawa walioitika wito wake Mungu Mbele yetu sister tunamtakia mema sana Mungu akubariki 
na pia tunapenda na kuongeza wewe ni sister wa jubilee you are a jubilee sister eh? Tarifa hiyo ya tupeleka mapumziko madogo au ya tufikisha kikomo cha awamu ya kwanza ya uvumbuzi wa iki hiyo kutoka hapa runinga ya captain kwa kusende mbali. The word of God becomes a light for our path. You and I are called to extend a smile, to extend a work of mercy. A igreja do meu bairro, vejo somente pessoas mais velhas. A igreja agora é coisa de velhos? A igreja não é um clube para a terceira idade, como tampouco é um clube juvenil. Se se convierte em algo de viejos, vai morir. São Juan Pablo II dizia que se vivís com os jovens, também vos te volvés joven. E a igreja necessita os jovens para não envejecer. Dear Pope Francis, Why did you choose the theme Mary arose and went with his for this World Youth Day? Porque María, en cuanto sabe que va a ser la madre de Dios, no se queda allí tomándose un selfie o presumiendo. Lo primero que hace es ponerse en camino a toda prisa para servir, para ayudar. También ustedes tienen que aprender de ella, ponerse en camino para ayudar a los demás. Me gustaría ver en Lisboa una semilla del mundo del futuro, un mundo donde el amor esté en el centro, donde nos podamos sentir hermanas y hermanos. Estamos en guerra, necesitamos otra cosa, un mundo que no tenga miedo a testimoniar el Evangelio, un mundo con alegría, porque los cristianos, si no tenemos alegría, no somos creíbles, no nos cree nadie. Rezemos para que a Jornada Mundial da Juventude em Lisboa will help us young people to set out in this journey. Não temos de Evangelho para nós próprios. Capuchin TV. Thank God as we continue to celebrate six years of service being a Catholic broadcasting ministry of evangelization. We continue to spread the good news together and with your support, thank you very much indeed for adoring us. The CWR Countrywide celebrates their patron saint, Saint Monica Area. This day is marked on 27th August.
In the Archdiocese of Nairobi, these celebrations will take place this Saturday, 26th August, at Msongari Grounds, Westlands, Nairobi. The annual mass isn't just an event. It's an opportunity to nourish your soul, find inspiration, and deepen your connection with God. The Holy Mass will be presided over by Most Reverend Philip Anyolo, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Nairobi, starting from 10 a.m. This event will be live on Capuchin TV and on its social media platforms. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to be part of the Catholic Women Association's annual mass. Let's come together in faith, love, and unity. As you gather to mark this significant event, May the blessings of fellowship and spiritual growth continue to flourish within your community. Your dedication to empowerment, faith and service is truly inspiring. May this annual mass be a source of renewed inspiration and a testament to profound impact of the Catholic Women Association. Catholic Women Association, empowering women and reaching faith. Capuchin TV congratulates the Catholic Women Association in Kenya. Happy St. Monica's Day from Capuchin TV. Keep watching Capuchin TV, celebrating our 6th anniversary this August. We are proud of 6 years of blessings and testimony with you, by you and for you. <laughs> The word of God becomes a light for our path. You and I are called to extend a smile, to extend a work of mercy. Shukran kwa kwa nami na karibu tena kwenye awamu ya pili ya uvumbuzi wa iki hii kutoka hapa Runinga ya Kapchin. Na tukizidi kuendelea kutoka Jimbo Kula Kisumu ala misi tare 24 ya skofu mkuu Morris Mohatia aliongoza misa ya kumbukumbu ya kwanza ya mama Maria Oselu Odete aliefariki mwaka jana. Mbali na ibada ya misa pia skofu mkuu alibariki maeneo ambalo nyumba ndogo ya maombi ya tajengwa pamoja na kupokea hati timiliki ya ardhi hiyo kutoka kwa familia marehemu mama Maria ambayo ilikabidhiwa kwa kama ukumbusho wa michango yake katika kanisa. Misa hiyo ilifanyika katika boma la katikista Mse Odete kwenye parokia mtakatifu Yosefu eneo la Nyambodo katika Jimbo Kula Kisumu. Mwanzoni mahubila yake askofu mkumu hatia alisema kwamba iwapo mmoja anakufa mwili unafufuka katika ufufuko wa milele kwa furaha ya kuwa mfuasi wake wanakondo wa mungu. At the end of this life, when death strikes the body, the body goes down, but our faith na sadiki nangojea ufufuko wa mili na uzima wa milele ijayo amina kuingizwa katika ndoa takatifu ya mwana kondoo ambamo huyu mama yetu sasa anasherehekea na kufurahia anaishi katika umilele wa furaha ya kuwa mfuasi wa mwana kondoo bwana wetu Yesu Kristo Akiendelea alisema baada ya kifo kuna uzima wa milele akirejelea maneno yake mtakatifu Paulo sio wote watakufa ila wote watabadilika. Mabadili ni vizuri kufa. Kwa sababu ukifa Yesu akija mara ya pili utatangulia utafufuliwa kwanza urudishe uzima wa milele na wale ambao watakuwa bado hai wategeuzwa kwanza. Mtakatifu Paulo anasema si wote watakufa lakini wote watabadili wote watabadilika. Kwa tunapozungumzia sherehe ya kumbukumbu ya mama yetu Maria Oselu 
tunakumbuka jinsi mtakatifu Paul anatukumbusha si wote watakufa lakini wote watabadilika kwenye kilele cha homila yake aliomba wote kuombea roho yake mama Maria Oselu ili apate pumziko la milele tuombe katika misa hii ili roho ya marehemu mama yetu Mungu amjalie uzima wa milele apate kushiriki katika harusi ya milele ya mwana kondoo na sisi siku moja tujaliwe kwenda kuunganika naye katika kusherekea harusu harusi idumuyo ya mwana kondoo ambaye ametunda akatuweka katika Yerusalemu mpya na tukirejea kwenye Jimbo Kukatoliki la Nairobi Jumamosi iliyopita tarehe 19 Agosti Rais wa Mkutano wa Jesuit wa Afrika na Madagascar Padre Jose Minakwe Lukol pamoja na Daktari Michel Ueneza Askofu Mstaafu Rodrigo Mea wakishirikiana na wairiri pamoja na wanafunzi kwenye uzinduzi wa mwaka mpya wa masomo wa mwaka 2023 hadi mwaka 2024 kwenye mada ya anthropology katika masomo ya kitol, kia, masomo ya teolojia na masomo ya amani katika bara la Afrika Kwenye uzinduzi huo wazungumzaji mbalimbali walitoa hotuba zao wakiongozwa na mkuu wa chuo hicho Padri Daktari Marcel Uineza ambaye aliwakaribisha wanafunzi wapya wakati wanapoanza mwaka wa 40 wa taasisi hiyo As we begin the 40th year hence HUC at 40 We are fortunate to welcome a sizable group of students in the School of Theology and in the Peace in the Institute of Peace Studies and International Relations. To the new students and to all our new faculty, please join me as we welcome them with a round of applause. <laughs> we are honored to welcome our new students and new faculty. Obviously if I begin to name all the 70 students who have joined us this year we will be here up to 7. Let me just if you allow me focus on the faculty. We are honored to have the Reverend Professor William O'Neill who will be joining us on the faculty. And he comes to us from Santa Clara University and the Jesuit Refugee Service. And we are honored to have also Reverend Professor Dominic Iruda Yaraj who is coming to us for a brief period from the Pontifical Biblical Institute. We are honored to welcome back Reverend Dr. Foro who will be the acting the right hand man, man of me the acting uh, deputy principal of academics. Aida Padre Daktari Lado Ludovic ambaye alikuwa mgeni rasmi kwenye uzinduzi huo alieleza kwa kipana mpango wa mafunzo ya amani na teolojia kwenye chuo hicho alisema chuo hicho huwapa wanafunzi mifumo na mbinu za kuwasaidia kufikiri kitheolojia kuhusu amani na migogoro As formulated the team seeks to link three major dis- academic discipline theology peace studies and anthropology And I would like to argue or at least to suggest that the link between theology and peace studies is precisely anthropology. And I want to claim and I beg the theologians who are here to bear with me and I want to claim that theology is actually a disguised anthropology. <laughs> Why? because we know god only through man which is what the mystery of inter- incarnation entails and i would like here to quote to quote this wonderful verse from the gospel of john which which summarizes in in a certain my argument john 1 verse 18 says no one has ever seen god no one has ever seen god The only son is who is in the bosom of the father is the one who has made him known. No one has ever seen God, so we cannot speculate on what we have never seen. The only way the only son made God known to us was by taking on human flesh. 
kwa upande wake rais wa mkutano wa watawa wa Jasuti Afrika na Madagaska Padre Jose Minaku Lukoli alizindua rasmi mwaka mpya wa masomo huku akiwataka wanafunzi hao kuwa mfano mwema wa kuigwa kwa kutoa matumaini kwa ulimwengu uliovunjika kupitia teolojia aliwatakia wanafunzi wote kila laheri huku akiwahakikishia msaada na maombi yake come together in the same theological act individually and collectively as you start this new academic year be assured of my prayers and support for your endeavor with this call to responsibility and this note of hope i declare open the 2023 and 2024 academic year thank you so it is the purpose of our theological pursuit if we don't draw from our rich history in the same line what is the relevance of our doing theology if we don't provide prophetic hope in a broken world today it is up to you to commit so that your head and your heart Baadaye Padre Lukoli aliongoza ibada ya misa ya ufunguzi wa mwaka mpya wa masomo. Kwenye mahubiri yake aliwataka wanafunzi hao kusikiliza sauti yake Mwenyezi Mungu kupitia kwa neno lake na kuwa wajasiri. So it is important to realize that we are all on board. I believe. We are all moving in the same direction. I believe. We run the same dangers. We share joys and pains. And most important, we have the same captain, the Lord himself. So this symbol of the boat should reinforce in us the sense of belonging in Ekima University College. Nobody should be a guest in Hekima University College. This is our home. That the first piece of the Vaticum, the symbol of the boat. Kwenye hitimisho lake alielezea umuhimu wa kutembea pamoja katika imani, elimu au motisha yoyote. Aliwataka wanafunzi wa chuo hicho kuwa mfano mwema kwa watu wengine na vituo vingine vya elimu. The second aspect of our journey is the order that the Lord gave to his disciples. He asked them to pass to the other side of the sea. It is even said in some other traditions that Jesus obliged them. He obliged the disciples to precede him on the other shore. What meaning for us? What could be the meaning for us? We could say that God does not want to be immobile. Na tukizidi kuendelea na taarifa zetu siku ya Jumamosi iliyopita tarehe 19 mwezi huu kwenye Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi mapadri watawa kike na wa kiume wazazi na marafiki walijumika kwa sherehe ya daraja takatifu ya ushemazi ya wateule kume wa shirika la St Patrick Missionary Society na moja wa shirika la Dominican Friary. Maadhimisho haya yalifanyika katika kanisa la parokia familia takatifu kwenye eneo la utawala na kuongozwa na mwashamu Morris Mwatia askofu mkuu wa Jimbo Kuu la Kisumu.
kwenye maubiri yake mwashamu Muhatia alianza kwa kufafanulia maisha ya utawa huku akisema kuwa ni Mungu mwenyewe aliwachagua hata wakati walipokuwa tumboni mwa mama yao na kutoa mfano wa nabii Yeremia before you are formed and before i formed you god himself literally talking about his creative power when it comes to each and every one of us the creative power of god we don't just exist and come to happen in the homes of our mothers god is involved he forms us like a potter there's an intimate relationship between god and every one of us just as it happened with the prophet jeremiah and that applies to each and every one of these our brothers being invited today and being promoted to the order of deacons and the lord is speaking to each of them personally i have an intimate relationship with you and the intimate relationship with you comes in the form of me forming you in your mother's womb i knew you akendelea aliwataka mashemazi mapadri na watawa kike na wakiume na wakristo kwa jumla kutambua dhamana ya wito na maisha yao katika huduma wanazotoa and god is bring back to your consciousness and your awareness something that you could easily take for granted that he is in charge is walking behind the scenes is walking in front of you above you under you at your side is all around you he knows you through and through aliwataka mashemazi hao kuishi maisha safi bila kujitanganya na mambo ya dunia ili waweze kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu na Wakristo kwa jumla let us acknowledge our what sinfulness before we participate at these mysteries and then we begin i confess to almighty god The priest doesn't say we confess no he says i he doesn't say you confess it is i confess each one of us individually in the presence of god aware and conscious of our unworthiness to participate in such a huge ministry overwhelming mystery we have to begin by confessing our sins kwenye utuba yake padri Richard Filima ambaye ndiye mkuu wa shirika la mtakatifu Patrick aliwapa pongezi mashemazi hao na kuwataka kutokuwa kikwazo kwa Kristo ambao wanamkaribia Mwenyezi Mungu bali na changamoto ambazo watakazo zipitia katika maisha yao tawa There are many expectations for you guys as you come into the society and these expectations will all come with your new roles most importantly that during this time of our history you will also become a channel of grace to those you will meet along the way my hope will be that those you meet will find Christ through their meetings with you that means that you will never be a hindrance to anybody who has come to look for Jesus the missions where we work are very difficult missions but alivinus try to say one or two things about it here there will be difficult missions where you will really need to think twice before accepting some of these appointments so i wish to prepare you also that the missions will not be easy but i believe you have known this and you have still accepted to join st patrick's missionary society our missions will be on the margins of society kabla ya baraka mwisho askofu mkuu Mohatia aliwataka wakristo kuendelea kuombea wito na kuombea watawa kike na kiume ili Mwenyezi Mungu aendelee kuwazidisha neema wanapoendelea kutumikia hili Mwenyezi Mungu 
aendelee kuwazidishia neema wanapoendelea kumtumikia It was a beautiful experience being in this parish my first time ever to come here the farthest I had come was Embakasi parish and I've heard you came from there isn't it so may God continue blessing all of you to continue growing in faith and may through this celebration many more young men and young women come from this parish and respond to the call to serve God Amen. as priests as brothers as sisters and fundamentally as married men and married women married in church isn't it because i noticed some of you did not receive holy communion and i was a bit curious are they angry are they unprepared i was waiting for the deacon to say lunch will be served for those who received communion only <laughs> Na kwenye taarifa zaidi kutoka Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Kisumu Jumatano liyopita mapadri, waumini watoto na wachao wa shirika la Visitation Sisters of Mary walijumika kwa minajili ya kufunguliwa na kubarikiwa kwa nyumba ya malezi ya shirika hilo ili waweze kuendeleza shughuli zao za kitume ni maadhimisho ambayo yalifanyika kwenye eneo la Katolo katika Jimbo Kuu la Kisumu na kuongozwa na skofu mkuu Morris Muhatia. Kwenye mahubiri yake mahashamu Muhati alianza kwa kuwapongeza watawa hao kwa mafanikio hayo huku akiwashukuru wote ambao walihusika katika mradi wa ujenzi wa nyumba hiyo. This project, this community, this celebration we have today will do many more things that are unknown to us who are seated here today because we are celebrating the presence of God in a special way in our midst and we congratulate the visitation sisters of mary for choosing to come to katolo to be in katolo Akiendelea alisisitiza umuhimu wa umoja kati ya ndugu na dada ili kuendeleza amani katika shirika nyumbani kanisani katika jamii na vile vile nchini na kuwataka watawa hao kuwa mfano mwema We celebrate the memorial of Rose of Lima from Peru a woman who lived in the 16th and 17th centuries But there is something very special about her. She put aside everything. She even put aside marriage in order to serve God and to serve his people. And today she is very well known as well as she is the patron saint of South America. She is the first saint to be proclaimed from the americas so it is a significant memorial of rose of lima a woman who gave herself for god and for others something very similar to what is happening here today is celebrating this institute of the visitation daughters of mary they are giving themselves aida askofu mkumu hatia aliwasifia watawa hao kwa kazi ambayo wanafanya katika jamii huku akielezea mfano wa mtakatifu rose wa lima ambaye ndiye mtakatifu mlinzi wa wapenda maua watu wanaonyanyaswa wanao na wale ambao wanateseka na matatizo ya kifamilia kwenye hitimisho lake askofu mkumu hatia aliwaombea watawa hao mema na kuwataka kuwa mwanga wa matumaini kwa kuendeleza upendo na hekima kwa kukumbatia nguvu za roho mtakatifu ili waweze kutumikia jamii kupitia nyumba hiyo ya malezi this community of blessing today is being blessed to do the opposite to bring brothers and sisters together unite them 
to unite the church, to unite the society, to become a beacon of hope in our archdiocese of Kisumu, to promote unity and love, friendship, which can only come when we have the wisdom that comes from God, when we embrace the power of the Holy Spirit. Then we will be wise, like the olive tree, like the fig tree, like the vine. And not reckless, like the thorn bush. Na tare kumina tisa mwezi huu agosti kwenye jimbo kuu katoliki la Kitui askofu Joseph Mogela aliongoza ibada ya misa na adhimisho la nadiri za kwanza na za daima za wasista wa mashirika la wa Lady of Charity of the Good Shepherd. Sherehe hiyo ilifanyika katika katedrali ya wa Lady of Africa ba, Boma Kitui mjini ibada hiyo ilihudhuriwa na wana familia jamaa na marafiki wa masista walioshirikea na diri zao Mhashamu Mwongela alitanguliza mahubiri yake kwa kusema kwamba mtu akiitwa na kuitikia wito wa Mungu kutenda kwa umakinifu, uaminifu na imani basi kila kitu unyooka katika maisha yake na Bwana Yesu hubakia mwokozi wake Aidha alisema kwamba kupitia kwa mwokozi Yesu Kristu kila mtu anaitwa kumpenda Mungu na kufuata amri zake kupitia sheria zake kumi alizomkabidhi Musa Akimalizia askofu Mwongela aliwashukuru sana wazazi na familia ya masista hao kwa kuwalea kwa imani ya kanisa mpaka kuwakabidhi kwa Yesu Kristu ili waitumikie jamii na watu wote. <tos> Kabla baraka za mwisho, mhashamu askofu Mwongela alimsistizia kila mtu kujitoa kwa kanisa na kwa ajili ya Yesu Kristu ili kupata uzima wa milele. Alikamilisha kwa kuwaombea baraka watu wote wa Mungu na kuwasihi wawe waaminifu kwa aliyewaumba. Jumaa iliyopita tarehe 18 mwashamu Paul Kariuki askofu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Embu ambaye pia ni askofu mteule wa Jimbo Teule la Wote aliongoza misa iliyoandaliwa kwa minaji ya wanafunzi walioitimu kutoka chuo cha afya cha mtakatifu Francisco wa Asizi eneo la Kasarani kwenye Jimbo kuu la Nairobi Akianza omili yake askofu Kariuki alirejelea masomo ya siku na kuwa si wote kuwa karibu na Mungu kwani Mungu ana mpango mwema kwa kila mmoja wao The first reading today has told us the plan God has for us the plan God has for us that we are not going to be desolate God has a better plan for us each one of us Let us not be away from God. Let us be very close to God. This is what the leading has invited us. Kwenye ushauri wake kwa wanafunzi, aliwaelezea kwamba wao ni chombo cha Mungu na akiwahimiza kutumia vizuri nafasi waliopewa na Mungu kwa faidi wengine wengi. You are an instrument of God. You are an agent of God. 
be Christ-like. At the end of the day, thank God that you have done your work well. Kwenye kilele cha umri wake Mwasha Mkariuki aliwakumbusha wanafunzi kuiga na kuendeleza kazi iliyoanzishwa na mwanzilishi wa chuo hicho mwaka wa 1923. Today as we celebrate this first graduation, we have an example to imitate and that is Mother Kevin, the founder of the Institute of the Little Sisters of St. Francis, way back in 1923. And also the founder of the Franciscan Missionaries for Africa in 1952. Na kwingine kwa alamisi iliyopita tarehe 17 Padre Bernard Ngaruia ambaye ni naibu katibu mkuu kwenye baraza la maskofu wa Katoliki hapa nchini aliongoza misa takatifu ya kufunga kongamano la muungano wa walimu wa kuwa shule za sekondari za Kikatoliki huko nchini iliyokuwa inaendelea kwa takriban siku tatu kwenye chuo kikuu Katoliki cha African Afrika ya Mashariki au kipenda Catholic University of Eastern Africa kongamano hilo liliangazia maadili na malezi ya imani kwa heshima na utu wa binadamu katika shule mbinguni a samahani tukaendelea Akirejelea masomo ya siku hiyo Padri Ngaruia aliwasihi wote kufanya chochote wanachokifanya kwa minajili ya sifa na utukufu wake Mungu and that is why the first reading reminds us that whatever we do we do for the greater glory of God. And that is why the value system is supposed to be very important for each one of us to understand what is the most important value of life. And that is why we are here to be reminded that without God there is nothing. Aida alisema Mungu ni chanzo cha kila kitu huku akikazia dhamana ya ukweli katika maisha ya kila muumini. Because in God everything is contained. And if God is the foundation of all the values then the next value that each student should have is the truth. If we miss the truth Jesus says the truth will set us free. And even this place is called that consecrate them in truth. Truth is the value that is contained in everything. There is truth about medicine. There is truth about other business issues that we do through this in everything is the principle of life the next value that each one of us should have that should lead us to pass over the river jordan is fidelity fidelity is faithfulness if the, the sons of israel was not faithful in focusing their minds towards god they would not have turned i mean be gone to the other side of river jordan Another very important value that we need also to understand is fairness. Fairness is what we call justice. Kwenye hitimisho Padri Nguruaia alitia mkazo umuhimu wa msamaha akiwahimiza waumini kumhusisha Mungu katika chochote wanachokifanya. You have no control of the world. God is calling us today to forgive each other. It's only the forgiveness that we can be able to repair the damage and especially the one who has a debt the one who has a debt or maybe who has actually the one who has faulted you the one who has made you angry the one who has received that and especially the one who is hurt is one supposed to approach forgiveness that's why, that's why Jesus says if a brother has something against you you go and deal with it with him So let us pray for pray this morning this evening that the Lord may help us so that whatever you have learned today may be able to help us to serve him in a better way and especially to make us more closer to him because when we serve humanity we must see God in them because we are all created in the Felix Nyuma nikiripotia runinga ya Captain na kutoka Jimbo kuu la Nairobi maelfu ya umwini wakubwa kwa wadogo waliunganika na maskofu mapadri na watawa katika kuadhimisha siku ya kikami familia ya jimbo hilo kuu siku ya Jumamosi tarehe 12 mwezi Agosti
Kujumbe wake askofu mkuu Anyolo aliwapongeza Wakristo wa Jimbo hilo kuu kwa kujitolea kwa wingi na kuhudhuria maadhimisho hayo. Aliwataka Wakristo hao kuwa kielelezo cha mfano wa familia njema kwa kujumuisha amani na kueneza upendo. When a person listens and obeys Jesus' word, the Holy Spirit unites him with their soul. Through the Son, the Spirit makes us sons and daughters of the Father capable of sharing the very life of God. My dear family of God in the Archdiocese of Nairobi, this is our true identity. We are children of the Father, born of the water and spirit. This is the fundamental dignity of each of us as Christians. Akiendelea aliwataka wa Kristo kuongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu na kwa kuabudu kwa kweli kwa kutii neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu na mafundisho yake kama wa Kristo kamili kupitia kwa sakramenti ya ubatizo. Akimalizia aliwaombea wa Kristo kupitia kwa Bikra Maria wakiongozwa na mada ya siku hiyo waendelee kutembea pamoja kama familia moja katika roho na kweli. Baptism not only purifies us from all sins but also makes us or makes them as newly the newly baptized as a new creature an adopted son of God who has become a partaker of the divine nature member of Christ and co-heir with him and the temple of the holy spirit kwenye ujumbe wake askofu Kamau aliwataka waamini hao kuendelea kukaa pamoja alisema familia inayosali pamoja huishi pamoja na Mungu huwezesha kwa kuwapa amani upendo na utangamano nyumbani may god through the intercession of the blessed virgin mary the mother of the church and our mother keep us a united family strong in faith journeying together in spirit and truth may the almighty god enable you to abide in christ Shara alikuwa Veronica Nema jina langu ni Arbe Bonaya hadi Juma Lijalo Mungu akinijalia na akikujalia wewe mwenyewe endelea kutazama Runinga Captain kitambulisho chako katoliki The word of God becomes a light for our path You and I are called to extend a smile, to extend a work of mercy. Capuchin TV. Ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu. Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki The word of the Lord came to me saying Before I formed you in the womb I knew you Before you were born I set you apart I appointed you as a prophet to the nations Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4 to 
On Thursday, 31st of August 2023, the Capuchin Television team will join the Franciscan Sisters of St. Joseph in Asumbi, Homa Bay County, to mark a quadruplex celebration of religious perpetual vows, Silver Jubilee, Golden Jubilee, and Diamond Jubilee. Among the religious women who will be celebrated are six sisters who will be professing final religious vows, and these are... Twelve sisters will be marking 25 years of religious life. Three sisters will celebrate their golden jubilee. We shall also witness four Asumbi sisters celebrating Diamond Jubilee, marking 60 years of religious life. The fourfold celebrations will start at 10 a.m. at the Asumbi Mother's House grounds at St. Therese's Catholic Parish, led by His Lordship Michael Otieno Odiwa, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Homabe. The event will be aired live on Capuchin TV and its corresponding digital timelines. <laughs> Watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Capuchin TV. Then God as we continue to celebrate six years of service being a Catholic broadcasting ministry of evangelization. We continue to spread the good news together and with your support, thank you very much indeed for adoring us. 
The CWR Countrywide celebrates their patron saint, St. Monica Area. This day is marked on 27th August. In the Archdiocese of Nairobi, these celebrations will take place this Saturday, 26th August, at Msongari Grounds, Westlands, Nairobi. The annual mass isn't just an event. It's an opportunity to nourish your soul, find inspiration and deepen your connection with God. The Holy Mass will be presided over by Most Reverend Philip Agnolo, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Nairobi, starting from 10 a.m. This event will be live on Capuchin TV and on its social media platforms. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to be part of the Catholic Women Association's annual mass. Let's come together in faith, love and unity. As you gather to mark this significant event, may the blessings of fellowship and spiritual growth continue to flourish within your community. Your dedication to empowerment, faith and service is truly inspiring. May this annual must be a source of renewed inspiration and a testament to profound impact of the Catholic Women Association. Catholic Women Association, empowering women and reaching faith. Capuchin TV congratulates the Catholic Women Association in Kenya. Happy St. Monica's Day from Capuchin TV. Keep watching Capuchin TV. Celebrating our sixth anniversary this August. We are proud of six years of blessings and testimony with you, by you and for you.